थिंग आर वेरी रैम्पेंटली यूज थिंग्स बट थिंकिंग ऑफ ऑल ऑफ देम टूगेदर ब्रिंगिंग देम टूगेदर एंड यूजिंग देम इन टू द निश फील्ड ऑफ गर्भ संस्कार इज अ वेरी यूनिक कॉन्सेप्ट दैट यू हैव ब्रॉट इन uh i think it's nice and it's nice to be over here on this platform to express some of my uh i would say it would be a sharing rather than a talk or a lecture kind of thing and uh, if uh, you allow me i like uh, all of you to participate also wherever in between will you be fine hello am i audible yes sir yeah yeah okay so before we start i would like uh, all the participants to have uh, of course you must be having your scribble pads at hand uh, a couple of questions uh, which we would uh, just answer them to our notepad and then uh, we shall discuss them will you like it so i shall start with the first question i'm actually not seeing all of you so uh, anyway everybody you can keep uh, your mics on at can, least yeah who yeah, can literally you know uh, just open screen uh, it is very necessary for the speaker also to see you if possible otherwise if you possible. can at least reply in Are the hey. comments no wow. problem we have uh, even the guest you know the senior teacher dr wow. rajan patankar so we are very uh, you know very much sir uh, for sparing time blessed we are very blessed to have yeah. dr rajan patankar also today in this meeting so yeah. i i am sure that this meeting will be highly appreciated and it will be enriched with uh, the lots of knowledge and wisdom by dr abhijit so let's get ready yeah, yeah. so the first query is uh define parent in five words you'll we'll just take a moment you have to just write down the attributes or qualities which when we think of something called as a parent what what are the first few words which come to our mind i'll just give you a few seconds and if uh, the word palak palakatva just 3 4 5 words which first occur to our mind you can repeat question okay. because some the participant question, has joined yeah. so they are joining just now mm-hmm. yeah the first question is uh, define parent or palak palak not as in vegetable palak but palak means <laughs> the parent uh in a few words say four five words whatever occur to your mind whether they are attributes or qualities that you look up when you look to a parent okay if you if you are done with this the second question is whom are you parent to apan konache palak ahat okay and then whatever answer comes to your mind immediately hmm? there's this two small questions that then okay so if you're done with this uh, i'll just start off with uh, 
the primary uh, part of my discussion most of uh, our audience i suppose are those who are getting into pregnancy or are thinking of their own pregnancies or to guide others into pregnancy or to support those who are pregnant huh? so all these type of audience i suppose are listening to what uh, we are going to discuss today so what are we get re getting ready for through these 9 months of pregnancy is what is it going to result into if you, a few of you can keep your mics on and answer it would be nice what is going to be born after these 9 months who is going to be born after these 9 months if this question is asked what would be the answer who is going to be born after these 9 months of pregnancy a newborn baby yeah a few more uh, some others can try okay a healthy baby i should say a healthy baby are thank you sir <laughs> healthy baby ha ah. so a newborn baby a healthy baby basically a baby is going to be born hmm? and it is as if the next generation of human beings is going to come into this world so all the mothers or all the fathers who have taken up this responsibility of producing the next generation of humans in this world hmm? in itself it is a huge responsibility on part of our human race to continue our progeny into this world so in the first place i appreciate all those who are making efforts towards this whether it is bearing the child by themselves or all those who are supporting like as in these garbha sanskars that are being done or education that has been that is being provided by ma'am over here so all the efforts that are being made in this direction to bring in a as uh, patanka said a healthy baby into this world a healthy next generation into this world are really appreciable and highly a need of this are uh, or need of this time okay so a baby will be born that is for sure hmm? and it is inevitably even going to happen otherwise whatever we do or whatever we don't do hmm? once we are into pregnancy the baby is going to be born now whether it has to be healthy whether it has to be sanskarit or all those things that are the effort that we are making but <clears throat> when the baby is being born who else is going to be born with the baby the parents are born the grandparents are born the moment the baby is born everyone the status of every person in the house changes huh? the in laws become grandparents hmm the father mother become parents hmm. so basically it is like a uh, evolute what we are bringing into this world hmm. so as if we see now if this baby is born the baby would be either a baby boy or a baby girl okay then later on that baby part will be eliminated he will become a boy and a girl in this world in go on growing up and become a man a woman in this world then a point comes where the man becomes efficient the woman becomes efficient they are enough qualified and everything is done and then they start seeking for each other then there is a bride and the groom of course the groomed ha groom have to be groomed a lot to come up to this stage the brides are already ready for the ride this is what i suppose but but still so jokes apart 
the bride and the groom select each other hmm? and then they go through a ritual or some uh, lawful activity which we call as a marriage and they get into a wedlock that is then they become husband and wife okay boy girl man woman bride groom husband wife now this husband wife have to become couple couple is a single thing they have to be coupled together there is a initial phase where they are still husband and wife they are checking upon each other they are trying to understand each other they adjust with each other and then they get coupled interlock okay interlock mentally physically and emotionally mentally when we say deeply emotionally interlock then it becomes like a one single entity okay and if that happens then conception happens this is what i think ma'am must have also told you that a lot of emotion is very important before conception we have seen several such patients who go on carrying their loads of normal reports and still are not able to conceive am i right sir or ma'am i hope you must be agreeing with this because this is what at least when being in ayurveda yes we are the like the last resorts everywhere so we have to go through four or five yes. files from other places and then only we have to give our opinions so by the time if we ask the couples who are wandering around we see that their their most of the reports are normal and no one is able to figure out why it is happening so it's not it's not the doctors that are inefficient or that way or the sciences whichever it may be is inefficient but the emotional bonding the understanding in between them and a lot of things around are the factors which are affecting into the process of conception hmm. we'll come to the bija shuddhi part and the that things also but from a different angle but as i said then the couple conceives and after it conceives this is the phase where we are coming into uh, garbha samskar ideally it must be much earlier even i hope dr nutan ma'am is uh, focusing on those aspects also because before marriage getting into marriage and then into the process of planned uh, garbha samskar with baby is like a wonderful concept that we have had since ancient times and uh, people like ma'am are uh, exploring it to a much deeper levels so now this conception has happened into the womb and this husband wife the couple are looking forward to their baby coming in a lot of anxieties a lot of stress and uh, what not a number of queries that uh, uh, we have through this 9 months Uh, of gestation and finally as we said that the baby is born at the same time father mother are born hmm? till that day all those hotspots is going on of the husband and wife all the queries misunderstandings misunderstandings the stress handling everything and then on the day of delivery the baby is born the doctor comes and yeah you got a baby boy you got a baby girl and it's a uh, great news and uh, yeah and they are happy but at the same same time stuck oh like now suddenly we have become father and mother a whole lot of responsibilities taking care of the baby the antenatal cares and all those things are must have been greatly discussed uh, with you but at the same time the anxiety of a father the anxiety of being a mother with whole lot of ideas that are rolling into this world what my baby could be 
what the baby should be what my baby shouldn't be and the whole journey starts usually when we talk with the patients we say the project is of at least 20 years if we consider in indian context because once the baby is born is like many times we hear that the father is standing into the school queues before even the baby is born and yes to a lot of extent it's true too and uh, a lot of things that go on into that so as i said father mother are born and remember the same moment grandparents are born as a whole big uh, change in status of those people now this father and mother are going to be father and mother till they understand that they are parent they have become parent now what parent then if father and mother was enough what is parent then aai baba he theek hai par palak manje kya hai what is it is it the same and uh, to the extent of knowledge that we have gained through ayurveda and the learnings of sanskrit no words have been used in vain at least in the indian uh, whatever uh, literatures every word has a specific meaning every word has a specific placement so what then is this being a parent or what is parenthood is what we are going to try to discuss and you you all have also written down some answers to it now so parenthood brings in something which is called as responsibility before i came over here in the last few days i have surveyed some of my friends some of my patients and so the same two questions i have thrown up to many people and i have tried to collect uh, what are their opinions about it or the uh, collection of words that i have got through them and then i have tried to figure out which are the uh, commonest of the factors that we can uh, see as attributes of parent being a parent like now parent is something which uh, will any one of you like to read out what you have just written hello most most of our uh, participants are patient listener oh great that's <laughs> that's very important <laughs> yeah so i'll just see through what uh, you can write in the comments uh, yeah or you can raise yeah. hand uh, so that i can unmute you yeah if anybody wants to participate actively aditi uh, anisha anyone ma'am yes Uh, parenting for me is to build a child to a good human being or to build a good culture or develop good culture uh, in our uh, in our baby or uh, you know just now when i was i am talking it just struck me uh, when we define yoga also uh, we hmm. say to uh, you know nurture the baby physically mentally emotionally and spiritually also maybe that is parenting oh great that's nice that's nice so basically nurturing nature has given us the baby and now we are the ones who are going to nurture it hmm. so that's why the whole lot of uh, ideas of, around parenting are nurturing hmm but who will take this responsibility of nurturing 
the father and mother only or the whole lot around all are participating in the nurturing process so then i just ran through these uh, words which they threw upon me and the most commonest words were like those who can take responsibility those who can give unconditional love care huh? some said that uh, it would be like uh, love care guidance hmm. and the most uh, sort of the word was those who take responsibility are pairs hmm. then who are the people who take responsibility what is becoming a parent when we say parent the parent is of the child only or even something more when we are saying that parents are the ones who take up responsibility responsibility of nurturing responsibility of taking care responsibility of doing all the sanskars responsibility of putting uh, all the things in the right direction helping uh, reso- providing resources facilitation everything hmm? or this kind of knowledge that uh, is brought to you is also a part of the responsibility and responsibility of the whole see those who might have experienced this in their houses of their own wombs or even otherwise if we see when the baby is born see the behavior of the grandparents it changes till now they were in laws or say father and mother to the now uh, born father and mothers hmm? they were behaving in a different pattern they were having some responsibilities on the shoulders the moment they become grandparents as it is otherwise even said they start behaving like children have you observed this the grandparents and the grandchildren both are nearly similar in their behavior and that's why they get connected very well and the people in the middle are we all who keep on wondering why even if these people are elder to us why they are behaving childish why suddenly they have become so till now they were the ones who were guiding us holding us putting us into the right direction and now they are the people who are taking part into the mischief of the children and they <laughs> like these are the very uh, common complaints of the so called parents that are elders are spoiling our children my in laws are spoiling my children the very common complaint whatever i asked them uh, whatever i asked my child not to eat not to do the in laws the moment i am out of the house the moment i am out to the office they will keep on spoiling my child it's such a great anxiety you know have you seen such mothers i have seen a lot have you seen such fathers yes i have seen a lot so much and a lot of stress around it a lot of family drama melodramas many things run around this few sentences hmm? because i am just cautious about my child so the who whoever is trying to spoil it i'm trying to protect and the nearest ones are these people in my house hmm now this is the funniest part you ask the grandparents and they will tell you hey yaar we should not be so now these these grandparents when they were parents they were the same 
what has brought this change? The status, we keep on updating our statuses on WhatsApp or like Insta or everywhere. And you see, it's such a fun, such a fun. Every moment I am changing, every day I am changing. And with such a great thing happening in my life, just imagine yourselves to be grandparent. Oh, my grandchild is born. You just imagine the amount of happiness. You forget your egos, you forget your status, you forget your anything that you bear. You are a professor, you are a PhD, whatever. You'll forget all those things and you become a child. So now I'm coming back to that parent who is left in between. These elders and youngers. Unke beach mein jo rehege, whatever in between is presently because we are in this age. Yes, we, all the parents, or to put it in more right words, guardians, caretakers, of whom not only the younger ones, but also the elder ones, not only our younger ones, but all the younger ones. Not only our elders, but all the elders. So in this world, there is a, uh, just imagine it like a sandwich. Mm, the elders, the youngers, and there is in this middle, this whole class of people mm, who are taking responsibility of running this whole world. Whatever is going on, whatever needed, is being supplied by the parents. Hmm? Hello, do you appreciate this? Yes, the parent, yes, yes. Parent yes. is a whole slab which is supporting the upper floor as the as well as the lower floor and all that is around. This is the these are the people who are helping to run this world or making this world run. Rest all are in the different phases. Like the elders have to take rest and enjoy. The youngers are still growing and they should enjoy. And now we are in this responsible frame. Hmm? This is the frame of people we have been observing as children. When we were children, we were looking up to a whole lot of parents. It was not only my father and mother that I was seeing, my uncles, aunts, my teachers, my anyone living, staying around, or whoever I know, my friends' parents were also examples of parents which I was seeing. I mean, we all keep on observing this. Hmm? Isn't it? And now that we have come into that phase. So we have seen good parents and we have seen bad parents. We have seen parents in between. There are nothing absolutes. At some times they are good. At some times they are bad. At some times they need to be excused. At some times they need to be ignored. Hmm? So parent is that frame which we were observing for this long time as children as in young age and we were still to take up this responsibility and now that we have come into this phase of being parent we have become responsible responsible in what sense is that it's like being role models the whole lot is looking up to you. The children below, the next generation is looking up to you. Hmm? So in that manner, we need to be responsible towards ourselves. If we are responsible to ourselves, then only we'll be able to take responsibilities of others, isn't it? Hmm? It's not by that's why like why garba sanskar comes into picture that understanding this responsibility and planning it properly 
that's why pregnant that's why the statement comes that pregnancy should not be accidental and it is underlined many a number of times hmm? so okay now even if it has happened accidentally this is the time this nine months that the baby is going to be born the parents also need to go through the gestation they have to edit themselves correct themselves prepare themselves for parenthood now what would be that parenthood simple activity just write down the characteristics of parent that you have observed through your life whatever 20 25 years of life that you have been through before getting into this pregnancy whether it is father or mother both hmm. just jot down i know that my friend's father was nice in this attribute my other friend's mother was nice in this attributes my mother had some good qualities my father had some good qualities huh? when i say good there were some odd qualities also some odd qualities here some odd qualities there so i was constantly scanning all those in the parent frame all throughout my life isn't it we have been doing this hmm? we may have not consciously noted it but this is what we have been noticing hmm? so now if i wish to become a good parent what would ideally i do as i do in any kind of other place or like if i want to become a good doctor i would see towards what okay how patan kasar practices how nutan ma'am practices how she how others do and then i collect the best qualities of all of them and try to imbibe them not only noting them but imbibe them bringing it them into me and then whatever that collective thing that i become becomes an example for someone else whether i am it's not like i am setting an example or whoever we are not doing all these things uh pretending a very nice word have happened to me today morning we need not pretend to be parents see a sentence just came uh, somewhere if you want your children to improve let them overhear the nice things you say about them to others i am ginnot by i am ginnot okay so they are saying that if uh, like in parenting if you want the children to uh, develop some good qualities appreciate them and appreciate them in front of others and let them hear over here yani divar ke bhi kaan hote hai na waise wo bachcha kahin se jaate jaate sun lega kya re apne bare mein acha keh rahe so <laughs> but just a thought occurred in this line that why should we be pretending this or why should we make him over here if we do it continuously and naturally automatically he will over here the good only so there is no point in pretending to be parent so what i need to do is i know the best that which are the factors that are lacking in me i know my gunas and durgunas i know my good qualities and bad qualities i may be portraying something else to the world hmm that may be for some other benefits or some other things but at least now when i am going to be a parent i need to seriously address this qualities or emotions in myself if i don't purely address them if i don't purely curtail them then who will be bearing those effects now is the time that i am concerned that who oh, my child till now is not bothered i am smoking on the road and let the others 
do secondary smoking i'm not bothered i'm eating something i'm drinking somewhere and i'm not bothered if someone is watching some small children are watching doing me doing this activity i'm not bothered but now at least now am i not going to ask myself what will my child carry and if at all i am not talking to people who are not at all bothered what what where the next go, generation is going to the hill i am not talking to them i know i am talking to a cautious crowd so is it not the right time for me to edit myself whether they are my bad habits you know the bad habits could be of anything addiction could be of anything addiction could be all these drugs or anything as tobacco anything as well as there are addictions in emotions also like some people like to quarrel and it is addiction haven't we seen such people around there's no reason it it might be happening in our houses too there's no reason just to fight for the sake of doing a quarrel they'll just set in into a very small thing at the end both the parties even forget what was the topic with which it started huh? the case goes on the case goes on so addictions could be anything could be some emotion which i'd like to linger into hmm? so whether it is addictions whether false emotions or anything that i feel that should not be presented to the next generation not only my child but whoever around is observing me should observe some good qualities so that it becomes an inspiration for them or whether it becomes an inspiration for them or not is also secondary as a parent at least i it would make me more fulfilling this is what i was observing into those parents ideal parents who were moving around my childhood so this is a chance for me to become one of that sort hmm so if we see towards being a parent in this fashion i think nurturing the child giving it giving him good uh, what we say whether uh, to use the word sanskar or uh, making him uh, like some some people have written valan launi directing them uh, directing the children molding the children a very funny thing sir huh? like if you see into child psychology and all or even indian child psychology they say that the child is born nascent and pure it is with our ideas and the society around that the child gets spoiled even if we keep ourselves away from the baby being born that is also more than enough because by itself the soul is in its pure form it is not frightened of anyone it do you see small children their behavior is so nascent they are not cheating they are not uh, they are pure to their hearts and with all our fears are you may fall down you may fall down they are not like they are taking their essential measures if you see if you also see small children they are taking essential care the parents are this protection protection becomes so much over so it, it's like uh, very wisely it is said by some saints that save your child from yourself first <laughs> that's really <It's>... important <laughs> <laughs> so rather than anyone else that is a different thing for save ourselves hmm 
so editing ourselves becoming good parent is a opportunity which this phase of garbhadan to garbha going through garbha sanskars and the the baby coming into this world this is the time at least i say this is uh, the right time where we should be thinking towards wholesome parenting and for that matter like if uh, i would like to uh, extrapolate this to a much uh, larger uh, idea see if nutan ma'am and patrick sir so i hope they would also agree with this that it's not about bearing my own child it's not about getting married hmm? when it comes to parenthood guardianship hmm? huh? or as we discuss the word responsibility hmm? those who have taken the responsibility of running this world or supporting this world to the next good levels like nurturing the next generation so that it the human race continues to exist in a uh, more enriched manner are all parents they need not be all biological so being a parent is a different thing you may be a parent already you are already taking care because all these attributes that we discuss when we talk about palak palakatva or parent if we see most of these attributes like very nice attributes i'll just read a few to them unconditional love trust respect caring huh? trustworthiness prem jawabdari sanskar palan poshan prem uh, and discipline support protection being friendly huh? now if these are attributes responsibility caring and love are most repeated words hmm so if these are attributes then whom am i offering them the second question was connected to this apan kona se palak ahat one answer to this so one answer to this whom are you parent to hello if someone can answer to the second question i can answer my all students you know i feel like i am parenting them <laughs> yeah actually actually hmm so it's not only our child it's all those whom we are catering with all these qualities of ours all the parental qualities attributes whomever we are offering this hmm? known and unknown Hmm? are all those hello if we try and understand this or if we try and contemplate on this thought we just imagine the spectrum of the word parent getting last to such a knowledge that my child my becomes a very small thing to take care of them if i am taking care of 20 people 100 people then take care of one person becomes easy it then doesn't be, remain a big task usually whenever we have seen couples pregnant couples what we observed is so much of it around how to get to parenting and what to do and what not to do i'm talking about the anxiety part of it 
if we increase the scale of the word parent automatically it comes the onus comes on the person himself that i need to edit myself first and then after editing i am offering it to all it's not my child i am offering it to the whole next generation i am offering it to the whole earlier generation too because now we are parents to our elders too hmm? and all the elders in this so if we carry uh, this notion i feel responsibility would take us to uh, much easier ideas of parenting then it would not be like uh, some uh, tedious task and pretense pretense i should not be pretending to be a parent like it's like very easily said than done that like i hear it in most of the places that uh, when we are parents we should not be fighting in front of our children have have you heard this then what do parents do then they wait for the child to go to school once the child is out to the school then they will set on to their quarrels or sin for their disputes have we seen such things in our house earlier when we were children we have seen everything around us we have seen quarrels we have seen love we have seen affection am i right we have seen everything and then why now we need to be so over protective that oh if i say something then it would affect my child or every time such a lot of over consciousness into our behavior and if really as we said discussed just earlier that yes if there are really such bad attributes in myself then i should absolutely editing them it need not be just in front of the child even otherwise i should try to curtail those qualities of uh, bad qualities or not so proper qualities of mine it need not be just in front of the child it must be even otherwise so uh, i think uh, i should be summing up it over here that uh, parenting is uh, not just for my child not just for uh, oh, someone is writing something if someone can read because i don't have a laptop today so we'll discuss it later so it's not just for my children it's for all it's not just for children it's also for elders it's not only for me it's for all others around me because now we need to be supporting each other now that we are into this sandwich in between hmm? and we are supporting we are the sheet anchors of this world hmm? then how we should be we should not be fighting on petty issues we should be helping in general too we should be helping each other all those who are trying to run this world shall be taking care in general not just for being there unconditional love we have learned in counseling that this is first thing if what we can develop isn't it ma'am the first thing yes and whole lot of chapters whole big books on only unconditional love nothing else i was very happy when i saw the into this replies i saw love 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 uh, as in parenting but uh, two three people have written unconditional love and this was uh, just at the spur of a moment that they have replied it's not thinking over a day and then writing such finer attributes hmm? so let us hope uh, that we try to uh, like it's for me even we try to imbibe and curtail and edit ourselves to being 
better parents every day every moment and i hope by the grace of uh, great uh, inspirers of the early and then like patinkar sir over here and nutan bhai and all like like it it would be possible i hope let's pray and best wishes to all of you great thank you thank you dr abhijit um so Ma'am, i have something to say i mean if yes if, shilpa go ahead with uh, whatever yeah. you want to say so, yeah uh, dr abhijit now it's it's not a framed question or a framed statement it just struck me half a minute ago so uh, what i want to say is uh, when it come when we say parenting uh, the word sanskar comes into picture okay once you become parent then you start giving sanskaras now mm-hmm. lately um, through this aig academy dr nutan has started giving this uh, teachings about garbha sanskar now that we have cultivated and we have got to know what garbha sanskar is okay so garbha sanskar is born before sanskaras so that is what i understand so how do you define Good. this i won't say this is a thin line between garbha sanskar and sanskar and i i won't even say it is a difference between sanskar and garb sanskars that's why i said initially i don't know how to frame this but what is that uh, you know difference or the thin line between sanskar and garb sanskar do you want to put some light on this what is your views on this uh, as a, as i initially said na sanskar uh, we had a shloka in uh, संस्कारो ही गुणांतराधानम सो एज अ पर्सन वी ऑलवेज हैव नो वन इज एब्सुलूट इन दिस वर्ल्ड नो वन इज एब्सुलूटली गुड नो वन इज एब्सुलूटली बैड इवन इफ वी सी आर माइथोलॉजिकल स्टोरीज दे ऑल्सो कीप ऑन शटलिंग इवन इफ वी सी द एक्सट्रीम डेमन दे शो सम गुड क्वालिटीज इन इवन इफ वी सी सम गॉड्स they also some uh, like fluctuating attributes in them hmm? so absoluteness has uh, always been uh, what we can say kept at bay huh? so what then remains in hand is doing editing sanskar huh? editing is what we are trying to bra- make it more correct if you uh, like uh, when we go through proof reading and all this thing so every time we find that uh, there could have been a better sentence than this there could have been a better word than this so next time there would be some more corrections some more corrections if we see books those have run into editions and editions we'll see the prefaces written by the authors they say that yeah this didn't occur to me earlier and this is the second edition this is the 13th edition and now this occurs to me that oh this could have been something more or like i would like to add it over here and all so it is becoming better so when i look towards the word sanskar i would not say that from becoming from bad to good i am saying i would like to define it as to whatever my limited knowledge becoming better and becoming better is a everyday thing is a every moment thing hmm? today when i switch off this gadget i would be carrying some ideas hmm? which i have learned now even if you are listening to me i am learning some things from you or this is a everyday thing that is happening to us whatever interaction goes on whatever transactions that go on in the psyches we are continuously learning better things and then when we understand learn them and after that we use a word imbibe them and that is bring into ourselves hmm to wo jo deeper editing hai that i i feel i i if patan ka sir or rutan ma'am or whoever over here wants to correct that is sanskar because it is going to bring transformation in my qualities 
आई एम गोइंग टू मूव टूवर्ड्स बेटर क्वालिटीज संस्कार हो ही गुणांतरा दान इट विल ब्रिंग अबाउट गुड चेंजेस ना समवन में से दैट इट कुड बी ऑन द अदर साइड आल्सो इफ अ डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ संस्कार सर एंड दे दैट इज वंस चॉइस बट लाइक टू बी ऑन द पॉजिटिव साइड ऑफ द कॉइन वी हैव टू से दैट यस टू द बेटरमेंट now when it comes to the betterment of a individual as we started with our talk we appreciated the people who are participating into bringing this next generation of humans in this world if you understand the difference between these two things hmm? i am editing myself i am already in this world but when i am taking responsibility of bringing the next generation into the world into this world i am not going to make it happen accidentally because i have heard somewhere i have learned from somewhere i have become cautious enough i have become aware enough to bring into my understanding that there could be some more better way of bringing the next into this world. and that greater responsibility is borne by what we call as garbha sanskar this is what i feel so that's why garbha sanskar is a more uh, deeper or a uh, finer understanding of sanskar i think because then only we will be able to bring the best into this world as humans we are evolving see la- for last few thousand years or maybe about a lakh years that we have dropped the tail we have not edited us physically much do you remember any of your ancestors who had tails does anyone over here remember that their grandparents or their great grandparents had small tails no it's long back so what is then evolving now if evolution is continuous then what is evolving the evolution is happening over here in our brains in our psyches the better that we can lead this life as humans and as humans when we say it is a single entity we all are one as humans you are part whatever our other beliefs are but as humans as this kind of a homo sapiens sapiens animal we are one so our product needs to be enriched so that's why we named this topic today as enriched parenthood samruddha palakatya hmm? so the next generation needs to be enriched so for that we have to provide the best of us so that's why then people like uh, ma'am and all do efforts that to collect all the best ideas that could be transferred ahead and this is what people uh, like as ma'am is doing now in this generation others have also done in ancient times ki this is this is that effort that's why i said this is a, uh, when i was uh, praising ma'am it was that this is a cutting edge work very fine work this is like those finer adjustments we make to a fournier caliper after the gross adjustments we do the finer adjustments so sanskar ke baad mein jo ekdam fine bija shuddhi when we say in ayurveda na the bija shuddhi would be both physically as well as mentally i have to bring the best out of me she has to give the best from her and then whoever is coming would be the best of us it would not be only physically more best but emotionally also the best that's why that bonding into that couple and everything so uh, when i was describing all that that evolution of that girl boy into that man woman bride groom all each and every stage could be discussed at length there is a whole lot of thing in all those th- all those stages and all those relations how what is bonding in between a couple and all it's not only you see if i have to tr- say it very flatly it's not about copulation couple is not about copulation it, it is any any animal can do that 
procreation is a very normal thing nothing special about it every species is doing that why then humans are different if at all is because we think about sanskars or we think about all uh, like this kind of a thing that a unique concept like garbhasmi sorry correct me if i am wrong or like it is uh, above my it's authority to talk about garbhasmi correct <laughs> no no no, no right. it's not like that when you are a ayurved doctor uh, so we do understand all those terms you know what is sanskar means what is garbha means so you are authorized person when you have been gone through a lot of clinical aspect and you met so many couples you do counseling uh, so a lot of experience this is what the you know sanskar we carry and then whatever the extract experience person has they have to come forward and share and that is the need of an ar because now we have seen lot of uh, you know evolution is happening you said correctly that uh, but the evolution i think it is more happening in the external world external developing technology you know machine apps mm. and everything uh, now the artificial boom also been created where the people can do editing on yeah. the mobile they do they can you know do the just yeah that is the latest thing which is happening uh, and uh, i i i feel like then it will become everything mechanical the, the emotion bond which we are thinking of you know bringing forward from our generation to the next generation that will definitely going to skip from this machine because machine cannot replace human being that is my understanding uh, uh, no matter how much we we evolved uh, and how many apps we have been you know uh, working uh, through and uh, you know but then human beings are definitely different that's why god has given brain and the discriminative power you know what is good what is bad and we must use that even when we think of parenting when we are thinking of enriching parenthood or bringing children uh, you know more better version of themselves so that will only happen when we uh, uh, promote this ancient wisdom it should not get just skip or bypassed you know uh, so the, my effort and uh, you know the whole student who have learned from me uh, these are just the minor you know it's a drop in the uh, whole ocean but i think uh, droplets you know collection of this droplets can yeah. become ocean later on so uh, so let's get together and uh, thank you dr abhijit for sharing your opinion and views because that matters uh, you are doing a lot of good work where people do not want to go uh, into the the place where it's uh, out of you know city and i'm glad that today even uh, my one of my close friend school friend prallad who is also doing a lot of work he is a teacher working in wada and the place where and he is working with the, the children who are actually deprived from yeah. a lot of aspect which city that is really great uh, uh, you know uh, have a lot of facility so i think you are the people who are actually doing the field work you know imbibing those sanskar imbibing those qualities or the sanskar quality is just we can say guna you know but the sanskar has more than guna so uh, so that's what we need to uh, you know take it forward and you said very nicely that point that it's not only the biological child you can be you know transmitting all that quality which we think like unconditional love or we can we say that the knowledge which we have you know, if we really want to okay somebody has my please mute yourself okay yeah <clears throat> so this is very important that to transmit the wisdom knowledge and responsibility we need to take that responsibility and uh, just contribute whatever your part uh, with this we can at least uh, we can now sum up uh, this important uh, you know the session 
uh, here my student manisha has written that uh, something you know in hindi like apne sapno ko bachane se pura karne ki koshish karne mein parent achhi parenting nahi kar pate this is so true you know uh, ye bahut zaruri hai you know sabhi ke liye ki theek hai apne sapne hai but apne sapno mein apna bachcha is very important part right so to give best no matter you need to sacrifice you need to do some sacrifice in terms of your career or some money or some place uh, you know you may not be able to go at some places where your friend might be going because your parent but that doesn't matter what matter is you are giving your best time to your children and uh, i feel like that is the need do not feel guilty about it and do not uh, have that guilt in mind and just you are just doing your mechanical duty of parenting so let's take this message from this session that be a responsible be happy and transmit the best thing uh, to your children and that your children is going to take it forward for their next children let's not become a lot of app oriented human being <laughs> let's become a human being emotion and feelings which we have it so thank you dr abhijit thank you all the participant present here and special thanks goes to today to prahlad my uh, schoolmate and dr snehal uh, romi uh, and other student as well <laughs> namaste uh, so can we conclude this uh, is there any one who wants to say something you're most welcome otherwise we have already finished from our thing. is there anyone who wants to share or talk something uh, so, ma'am with this we i mean i can only um, you know the learning that is taken from this is some of i would say garbha samskar samskar and parenting all these three things i think go hand in hand one is not worth uh, if the other two are not uh, you know taken care of so yeah it was a very nice session to learn these things thank you sir yes everything is interrelated that's why we came up with this topic and uh, we have uh, you know nice speaker also so let's continue this journey you know uh we are now moving towards 2023 so let's take this pledge that we will be you know uh, taking this uh, the value which we learned in 2022 and we will leave all the uh, uh, whatever the bad thing or whatever the bad memories and uh, just uh, taking this ahead positively with this i'm uh, closing this meeting Uh, thank you all of you and happy new year yes. to all of you yes, and yes. to yes. AYG Academy. Uh, thank very, you, thank uh, you. Please uh, mute. Yes. Uh, very appreciate it, Nimudan Sharma. Kerala is seventy percentage uh, cesarean. It was uh, Garba uh, Samskara. Very, very appreciated, uh, Doctor Nimudan. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Ji. Thank you for joining. Uh, thank you. Uh, okay. Bye bye. Take care. Happy New Year. Bye bye.